efforts from Hurricane Michael in the Florida Panhandle. Tenor News Science Deanna Beneshi met with the group commander today, and Deanna, he says they arrived late Thursday night, and because there was no power, they didn't get the full effect of really the devastation until sunrise. Right, and he said he knew it was going to be bad, but actually waking up, waking up and seeing the piles and piles of debris that was in every direction was heartbreaking. Tidewater Search and Rescue shared these pictures on social media, giving people a glimpse of their latest mission. The Virginia Department of Emergency Management activated them, and members like Kevin Brewer were sent to Mexico Beach. They met up with other organizations that were part of their strike team. Well, we went down knowing that we were going to be embedded with uh, Florida Task Force Team 3 and then Florida Task Force Team 7, who were down there. Uh, those are the FEMA teams from Florida. We also um, got with us a Georgia-based volunteer team of three with canines. And they all worked together for a main mission, to find a handful of people who were unaccounted for. But the mission wasn't the easiest of tasks. They had to comb through thick piles of destroyed homes and businesses. We were just all in awe. Uh, it, it, it's unbelievable what the state of Florida, the part that we saw, what they what they encountered. He says it was difficult to see homeowners digging through wood piles that used to be their homes. One woman had found a china a glass bowl. It's the only thing that she knows she had, and it was unscathed, no chips or anything on it. It's the only thing she had left, just one little bowl. Brewer says the people they were tasked with finding were found, but he couldn't go into more detail about them. He says they completed their mission and took their trip back to Virginia. Coming up on Wavy News 10 at 6, Brewer goes into the rescue techniques that were used. Deanna Beneshi, 10 on your side.